Welcome back, guys. We got more Jeff Dunham on the channel today. We've had a fun journey with Jeff Dunham. This is one of Sam's favorites, right? Yes, I love the little puppets that he has. It makes it so much more fun and entertaining. And so. he's obviously super talented ventriloquist, yes, right? So talented. You know, having multiple conversations. When multiple we did, characters going on. Yeah, when we did Aquaman has a son, he's yeah. basically doing a group conversation. Thinking the one with Peanut, he was having a conversation with the audience yes. member as well. So uh, you know, it's been a great experience thus far. Super talented guy, like I said, with Jeff Dunham. Um, but we haven't gotten to Walter yet. Is this the old man one? This is that, I believe. And this was one of the highly recommended ones in the comments you guys were saying. You get got to get to Walter. And uh, I'm excited to check out another character. We've done Ahmed. We've done his son. We've done Peanut. And now we're getting to Wal Walter. And uh, so I think... This is, was one of, one of his more popular ones from mm. Walter. I don't know if this is an introduction to him or not. You know, All we gotta, over the map. We got to just pick a, a video and roll with it, basically, with Jeff Dunham, because he's got quite a few. So if you have suggestions, we're always open to them. But what have you liked yes. about the uh, puppets thus far? I just love that they have like such a personality, and they're a little bit sassy, <laughs> which is fun. One thing I will say, though, is that I really liked Peanut, but I feel like we need a little bit more of like Peanut's origin story. So if you guys know ones that give a little bit more of like a starting place with Peanut, drop those ones in the comments because I want to learn more about where Peanut came from. Okay. So maybe not a, a an origin story, but <laughs> if you can give us one, another one that's a good one from Peanut, that would be appreciated. <laughs> um, and uh, Walter, is uh, are your expectations really high now because you've enjoyed them so much? Yeah. All right. Well, let's see if Sam is going to have these expectations met on our next video from Jeff Dunham. Athens is from? Oh, it, was, oh, it took place in London. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. You know, I dated her for a while. <laughs> you dated Mary Poppins? Yes, I did. No, yeah, I did. We were very young. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, yeah. I was the first guy to get into her chim chim tureen. <laughs> things going in the moment of passion she started screaming some weird word it was like super california <laughs> refrigerator x the delicious lotion something like that <laughs> pretty kinky chick i'll tell you that much <laughs> I'm talking to this guy in the front row he's very really calm talking to their nice not you <laughs> okay what was your first name again what N N Nabil? <laughs> like a first name or something you'd take medicine to get rid of. <laughs> Is it a family name? They're just parents drunk and they're going, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, his name is Nabil. <laughs> uh. Is that a common English name? No. What? A what? Oh, you're from Iraq? What the f***? <laughs> Look at the odds. <laughs> Learning in England, get the asshole from Iraq in the front row. <laughs> okay, now I've forgotten your name. Is it Abdul? 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 Nab 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 <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Can I call you Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it seems like uh, Walter has some sass to him as he well. He does. I was dead at this supercalifragilistic expialidocious joke. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to say that word, didn't you? You it's wanted been a to long time prove to everybody on the channel that you've got that down pat. <laughs> I haven't said that in a very long time. Well, let's see what else Walter's going to offer to Iceland. I'm just impressed that all these folks came out for our show tonight. Well, don't be. Why? Well, it's Iceland. It's not you or us. There's nothing else to do here. <laughs> I know you read up on Iceland a little bit before we came back. Oh, yeah, yeah. What'd you read about? Well, uh, the, the volcanoes. You read about that. Oh, yeah, it's great. Yeah. 
Imagine something that can erupt at any second and destroy everything in its path. Yep. I'll be darn what I married a volcano. <laughs> You know that Iceland has one of the highest life expectancies in the entire world? I do not know that. Especially women. Huh? Yeah, here a woman's average lifespan is 90 to 100 years. You should move to, wow. move to Iceland. Send my wife home immediately. <laughs> what is this, hell on earth? <laughs> All right, how do you like the food here? Oh, well, very funny. What, I tried some of that, what do you call that? You cannot speak Icelandic without moving your lips, I'm telling you. Think of that, there's no Icelandic ventriloquist ever. I will say, though, I think the, th the, the folks of Iceland are geniuses. How's that? They know how to keep her from getting overcrowded with foreigners. How's that? Simply by naming the place Iceland. <laughs> it sounds like you'll freeze your ass off. Plus, it's easier to say than uh, dark, long winter land where the weather is <laughs> <laughs> We're morons for naming our country the United States. Sounds way too welcoming. We should have called our country crazy assholes with guns. <laughs> Did you get a chance to go to a volcano? Oh, yes, I did. Did you take your wife? Yes, I did. What'd she think? She kept saying the same thing over and over. What, stop trying to push me in? <laughs> <laughs> On another subject, did you know that strip clubs are also illegal here? Really? Right. So if I want to see a naked woman, I have to take a six-hour flight to Scotland. <laughs> or there's your wife. <laughs> oh, that's true. In Iceland, it's legal to whale hunt. So I think the title of our last video was Peanut is a Savage. Yeah. Also, I think Walter, Walter is, is a, a savage. savage, but potentially more so than Peanut. I would agree. He's got lots much. Of ma lots of wife jokes there. It's interesting because we had Ahmed and his son, and that was more of a conversation, and it was a funny conversation, but it was less punchline oriented jokes. Mm -hmm. And I think in our evolution of Jeff Dunham leading to Walter now, Walter is full on punchline jokes. Yeah. And uh, it's almost like stand up comedy with Jeff as well, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. So, um, with, with that said, are you going to be moving to Iceland anytime soon? Do you plan to live to 100 years old? Oh, it seems Iceland? like they got some pros but it also seems like they got some cons i don't really think i could do the whole like darkness winter thing all year long yeah i mean we just experienced that recently by going to canada yeah it wasn't it's uh not my it wasn't my cold but well it was kind of cold but gloomy very gloomy gloomy yeah so um now we're going to bright and sunny australia let's so see let's, they got let's to, see uh, what they got offer. to say have you seen the size of the bugs in this country <laughs> Yeah, there's some big ones. There was a beetle in our hotel room and my wife wanted me to step on it. What'd you do? Nothing. The damn thing grabbed my wife's poodle and flew out the window. <laughs> I love this country. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I thought the Irish could throw back a few, but you guys are the drinking champions of the world. surprised you don't have dead sharks with alcohol poisoning <laughs> after eating your surfers <laughs> did you know that even though australia had a big influx of criminals they now have you know only i don't know one fifth as many murders as we do in the u.s huh does that surprise you it doesn't you no you know how much practice it takes to kill somebody with a freaking boomerang <laughs> like a thousand to one <laughs> i know my wife tried that poodle flew out the window and it was like you son of a bitch <laughs> what the what the <laughs> by the way are we getting paid for this gig it's none of that aborigine barter crap is it 
what? We're not going to get like a bag full of koala poop or something like that, are we? <laughs> Some feathers and a long ass horn that plays one note. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Your name Fog is word. offensive, Dunham. Peanut! A first name or something Walter. You take medicine to get rid of. <laughs> Do not spit on my face, you ugly American. Buddhists. <laughs> they all wear boots. <laughs> so we only got the one guy left. Yeah, I mean, there might be other ones. I'm not sure. I think uh, there's one with Ahmed and I want to say Jose or something like hmm. that. So maybe that was him at the end. Uh, I, I'm not really entirely sure. And I think it's a didgeri, didgeridoo. Is that what, the, what that instrument is that he was talking about? I don't know. I had to make, no one, clue. I had to make one in school. Did you? Yeah. Like that. Yeah, like you blow through it. And so I think we had like to do a unit on Australia or something like that. And that's they, hilarious. Yeah, they, they, we had to make one. And I had it for a long time. <laughs> Never played it ever. It was just one of those things that, you know, your parents keep when you make and, yeah. and hold on to. And then my family, they're from Australia. They yeah. moved to Australia um, quite a while ago. But it's just funny because he was mentioning the boomerang. And uh, I remember they sent me a boomerang when I was younger. I also have one from my family in Australia. Yeah, so it has a little kangaroo on it. Yeah. So I think my dad has one too. And I always wanted to like go and throw it and use it. My parents were like, no, you can't do that. It's just a collector's item. You're not, to throw, a keepsake. you're not supposed to throw boomerangs. I'm like, what the hell else do I need it for? I just want to throw it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. So did you like Walter? I did. I really liked Walter. I would say Walter might be one of my faves. Yeah, I think that might have been my favorite one that we've done. Although, like I said, Ackman was pretty cool too. Yeah. And, you know, Peanut was fun. They're all being, all been great. Yeah. So it's hard just to pick one. They've all been different, just, but that makes sense because they all have their own personality. Yeah, they are. They are quite different. So I definitely yeah. enjoyed this one as well. And that means we should probably check out another one. I also like love his little grumpy old man face like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean the the artwork and stuff. With you, you can overlook that, right? For yeah. each individual puppet and character. Yeah. I think somebody actually may have said that Jeff designed them himself. So oh my gosh, it's that's crazy. That's pretty cool. So clearly, he's a talented guy. Hopefully, you guys yeah. enjoyed our reaction to Jeff Dunham, Walter, all over the map. Please hit the like button for us before you go, and make sure you leave us a comment if there's anything you want us to see. We always appreciate the engagement on the channel. Wouldn't be where it is today without all of you. So thank yep. you so much. If this is your first time on the channel and you enjoy this this type of content make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell we drop comedy sports and music two videos every single day so you never know what to expect but we always try to keep you guys entertained as much as we try to keep ourselves entertained so if that's all from samantha it is it's all from the both of us and we'll see you in our next video thanks for watching guys see you next time